The integrity of the state bidding process called into question tonight by a local assemblyman saying after a North Country boat builder failed to land a contract, there are too many questions and coincidences. Seven News reporter Lexi burning with the story and some documents to show us Lexi. Jeff Watertown's Metalcraft Marine put in a bid to build boats for the state's Park and Recreation Department. It didn't get it. And tonight, the company's leadership and a state assemblyman lay out why they don't have trust in the system. Nothing lines up correctly here. And, you know, my concern is the integrity of the process. Metalcraft Marine makes metal boats at its location in Watertown for a slew of customers, including the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard. One customer it isn't landing, New York State. That has Assemblyman Scott Gray digging, and Metalcraft Marine General Manager Michael Allen is happy to have Gray on board. We're just uh, dumbfounded here about what's gone on. And here's what the two say has gone on. State Parks and Recreation needs 34 vessels and opened up the bidding process. In this paperwork obtained by 7 News, the presumed winner of the contract, a manufacturer in Washington State. It's bid $7,745,200. It happens to be the exact bid amount made by Metalcraft Marine. We have two bids that miraculously on a $7.7 .7 million bid come in to the penny identical. Uh, which is nearly unheard of. Metalcraft not even on the list of bids because the company was disqualified, not once, but twice. The first time the state said Metalcraft didn't have enough building experience, the company proved it did. In the second disqualification, the state said Metalcraft was trying to sell it an unmanned vessel. Metalcraft says that's not true. It provided this photo of the state representatives riding Metalcraft's boat. Allen says the picture was taken on a manned vessel with a Parks and Rec state employee driving the boat. They rode on it. It was a manned vessel. Assemblyman Gray wants to know why Metalcraft is facing so many roadblocks. It certainly gives the appearance that they're going out of their way to, uh, to disqualify Metalcraft Marine. Gray wants the entire bidding process to be looked at by the state comptroller and become more transparent. The State Parks and Recreation Department could not comment because the process is ongoing. Jeff. Lexi Burning, thank you.